Uh, first thing, have them attend our webinars. That's, <laughs> that's if you want them to learn this stuff, you got to sign up for our webinars. But uh, th that aside, um, you know, obviously people's schedules don't always align with when we're going to do these. But, uh, you know, I, I hate to reemphasize our website, but there's great documentation on there uh, to help folks uh, understand the importance of rack safety. And uh, we do teach this as well. I mean, so beyond just the webinars, we we have uh, trained engineers that perform uh, training, whether it's in person or it's remote. Uh, in time of COVID, we're, we're not doing uh, as much in-person training as we uh, typically have. Uh, but but when we were doing it on site, three to four hours, uh, it's uh, it goes from uh, the very important reasons for taking all this stuff seriously, the context um, that we live in, why uh, and how damage can affect the structural integrity of your racking system, how to identify damage and prioritize it, how to set up your own inspection program. All those things are part of the training that we do. And when we don't do it on site, we do it in a Zoom call like we're doing here. So the content the slide deck, as I would put it, exact same. So it's like the fact that we're not going to do, uh, you know, a walk through the warehouse to point out damage or, 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 or share some lessons learned. But nevertheless, the content itself, if we do a Zoom uh, safety training, is exactly the same. And it lasts about two hours to two hours and a quarter. I think that would be the best thing to have your leadership uh, get on board with this and understand the importance of rack safety and how to implement a program to inspect their racking uh, when needed. 